Okay, I'm just going to reset everything. Double touch the phone. So here I am, back again, just trying to do another quick Zoom OBS recording, running the PowerPoints, and just looking at the stats as we're going through it. Um, now I'm going to go down to the process using my complete configuration with the Logitech C920. And when I get to one point, I'm going to cut over to the second camera. So moving forward to the um, thingy. <clears throat> now I'm down into my lecture table section. So a slight spike out of the corner of my eye, but I'm not too worried about that because parameters are still quite normal and this is all this transitioning and so on that we're running. So bringing up my PowerPoints and enlarging them. So me moving down to the corner here just so as I can actually look at these PowerPoints and talk about them. So stepping through them. Now I just want to get to PowerPoint number 16 which is one of the more complex ones and we'll see how this is <coughs> excuse me appearing on zoom in terms of the recording and that's it okay so that's zoom so let us um, can I actually change camera a very good question let me see what my um, yep so now we're going to just change camera, close off my and now I need to go down to the bottom left to see where I am really. Mm -hmm. Now as you can see it gives a much different perspective when I'm down at this level and so on so on so on. Parameters are still staying nice and, 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 and stable. So I'm going to reduce my power point Now, I'm not sure if this works with this camera, but we'll try it anyway, closing the PowerPoint. So and, and mostly this is me trying to double check that I'm getting the sync between my audio and video. Yeah, as I expected, uh, I didn't set up the move transitions with the Canon EOS here beside me. So if I were to just um, full zoom that. Big zoom. Now I'm going to turn this one off and turn on my other camera. And the other one obviously works in the background. <coughs> now let's just, this again, I'm back onto the, the Logitech C920. Um, parameters are still behaving themselves very well. Let, let's just try this now. I know I have some music running in the background. I'm recording on Zoom and I'm recording on OBS locally. And let's just have a look at changing some things around here. Ah, um, what should we do? We'll bring in, um, we'll bring in John. We'll, we'll control it all from the, the tablet. Um, Now that jumped into the red in terms of frames per second and I just see how long does it take to settle that down because I brought in so it's cleared it out it's clearing out and now we're back to normal so yeah it spiked a little bit because of that graphic coming in now let's just try the back zoom I should actually get my glasses sorted out back shortly I'm not sure if audio is being recorded here, but again, it's settled down, it's spiked, and it's settled down. So according to this, I have missed frames. I've missed 89 frames. 1% of my frames were missed due to rendering lag. Now, I'm just wondering, is there another way if I can 
actually reduce some stuff here and see what's happening and just look at my screen here okay if I've minimized my OBS and if I'm just controlling everything on I, I can see what's happening on zoom in front of me all the parameters are much better so by minimizing that part of OBS and just working on the camera in front of me with the zoom I can see exactly what's happening in there so I technically I could have everything running from 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 here let's just try it and see how it starts to perform so I'm running back down through the sequence again yeah so here you are I'm back down here in the, in the middle of it and this has behaved v exceptionally well um, let's reduce again that should be a bit smoother of course and we close that f I forgot that it's, it's a toggle switch so I should have actually set it to off for so it doesn't run every time I go back into that scene um, okay looking and it does behave so I'm not rendering anything on the screen so I can see everything in front of me here so if I wanted to open up um, just in there or bring in OBS again um, let's see what that happens yeah that begins to to push up the the, the CP power now CP power I'm only running at 20 CP 20 percent CP usage I'm still pushing out at um, 30 frames per second now I'm going to while I'm here I'm going to try something here and see can I stream at the same time so I'll need to open my browser okay bear with me bear with me moving things out of the way I've moved things around the screen uh, YouTube <coughs> it's taking time to render stuff here this is really pushing the system now to a limit see it's taken time to refresh screens right create go live I think this, that this doesn't make sense I'm trying to push it too hard I'm really trying to push it here because I'm broadcasting on zoom and I'm now trying to set up a live broadcast let's just see how the the connection comes up on 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 YouTube it is slow take some of the pressure off for a moment so everything is start sending stream so I need to open zoom again and start streaming so it's telling me I'm gone live connection according with it according to this is excellent <coughs> just take some pressure off the system um, I don't see any feed coming in here just yet um, yeah, things are beginning to happen there now and here it is it's gone live I'm not sure how jittery or not this is parameters are looking looking good let's just change camera so now I'm on the Canon EOS 
Okay. I'm back to my C920. So I'm just waiting for um, this to, to catch up. So there's a lot going on here. So right now I'm gone. I'm live streaming into YouTube. And I'm broadcasting, I'm recording into OBS. And I'm also in a, a Zoom chat or a Zoom meeting presentation. So let's go through the motions here going down to my lecturing area. Okay, all's going well so far. I'll open my Zoom, open my PowerPoint. And here we are. Now that is the complicated graph, let me enlarge it. And here we have the system running at full steam. I'm just going to toggle back through a couple of these power plants just to see how these come out in OBS and Zoom and what the live recording will look like on YouTube. So I've done enough of that, now I'll close down. And now I'm going to move back to my main page. And here we are. Um, let's just try a lower third. I need to put my glasses on for this again. Um, we try the um, lower thirds here. And we do the usual. Do my subscribe, turn it off. And we'll do the, um, we'll do um, um, this one. I'm jumping over and back. I'm controlling everything from my um, tablet here. What else do we do? Uh, back shortly. Here I am back again. Um, is there anything else really that I want to check? I can just check on the test card. Test card off. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, the system seems to have stabilized. I'm just going to um, increase or open up the OBS um, screen, see how that's looking. See what happens then. Yeah, everything is fine. I'm just going to change my rotating logos. Let that run for a few minutes. How am I doing now? I've been recording for about three quarters of an hour. Uh, sorry, 15 minutes. Okay, that's it. It appears everything is running um, smoothly. I'll just go to my outros. I'll do an intro. I'll do my modified one. That's my modified intro, which I cleaned up yesterday. And now we go to the NS21 outros, and we'll use this one. And at the end of this, then, I will finish the recording.
excellent. Everything worked properly. Um, slight little glitch on the rendering. That's because I've got essentially three broadcasts running at the same time. Live YouTube, screen here on monitoring it, OBS and Zoom itself. So that's it folks. I will first um, close down my PowerPoints. I'm now going to um, reduce my OBS. Everything is back to normal. Now I'm going to end my live stream. Now I'm just coming back to <clears throat> I'm just coming back to Zoom and I'm going to end the Zoom recording.